Everybody knows about the tiers, but did you know that MW2 also has a revolver with snake shot rounds called the Basilisk? So today we'll be testing out the Basilisk, or I guess there's two of them, the Basilisks, the Basilisk. But from just looking at it, these weapons are very similar to the tier, so I want to see if the damage is similar. So we got some normal zombies right here. Looks like it one-shots them. But that's not uh, the most impressive thing, one-shotting zombies in the tier one zone. So per usual, today we'll be testing out in the medium and high threat zones. I'm going to be trying to take them out against a mega abomination and maybe the storm caller, depending on how they're doing leading up to it. And we'll also be getting these golden ivory. But I brought the scorcher in here to help us move around. Let's go to the tier two zone and see how these do unpack a punch against a zombie there. Are you guys tier two zombies or tier one? Speak now. Oh, these are tier two. Um, they're about... Was that a five shot kill, six shot kill, something like that? Not the greatest, but these also aren't upgraded at all. Let me throw on an epic rarity tool here. Um, I think it makes these zombies two shot kills, three shot kills maybe, but you're probably not going to be going into these zones without these being pack-a-punched anyways. So let's throw on our pack-a-punch two crystal. Let's use our perks. Now, how well are these doing? Oh, right back to one shot. And that's what we like to see. How much ammo do these have in each pistol wall pack a punch? Is it still only five? Really? I swear it said like eight a second ago. Oh, no, that's, that's a three. No wonder. So these got the same treatment as the tiers where they have a very limited amount of ammo and zombies, but they still seem like they do a pretty good amount of damage. And I don't know how these are going to do against bosses yet, but if you want to copy my build or improve it in any way, shape or form, here's my build. I just realized we're broke. I only have 410 points right now. We're going to need some money if we want to get these to pack three and try them against a mega abomination so let's go ahead and go to an outlast contract that way we can kill a few zombies and get some money out of it give me that and i think i just heard a mangler mangler come here let me test these on you okay was that like a four shot kill that's not bad at all for a mangler let's start up our outlast contract and let's get to grinding so for our camo challenges today we need to get 250 kills we need to get 100 kills in the same game we need to get I think 100 kills on armored zombies or some random number like that. And we need 100 kills shortly after using a field upgrade. So maybe I should have came in here with like Aether Shroud or something that fills up faster, but Frenzied Guard's still pretty good. We'll just have to get a lot of zombie kills today. So far, so good. These are pretty nice. I'm hoping they do the same amount of damage to like a Mega Abomination that the tiers would. Because imagine running these and the tiers. It's basically having two tiers in your class. But they do still have the same thing as every other akimbo weapon where you still keep all the visual effects on your screen regardless if they're still happening or not. You just gotta switch weapons and switch back to get it to go away. Oh, there's our 100 kills in a single match. Easy. And we finished our outlast. Normally, I just sit here and grind out the zombies without ending the contract, but we need money. What other contracts we got around? Is there any bounties? There is. Let's try this against the HVT. Oh, and it's an HVT Disciple. This would be a really good test. All right, let's see what these can do. Please don't glitch out on me. Okay, I already busted his mask. Busted right in it. No sucking me. Trying to give me the super slurpy. Take my health away. We already got him down to half health. The only problem I'm seeing so far is the amount of times we got to reload. But besides that... These are doing pretty good. And we just gave him a good amount of health back too. You know what? While we're here, let's use our field upgrade. Get some quick kills with it. And take out our elite. Easy. Might as well throw Shatter Blast on here. Can't hurt. Ideally, I'd like to have Napalm Burst on, but Shatter Blast will be fine for now. You know, we can just keep doing elites. These bounty contracts are way faster. All right, cocksucker. See you later. Maybe I should just try alternating shooting each one. Shoot one till I have to reload, shoot the other. That's what I normally do with any akimbo weapon. I don't know why I'm not doing it here. It takes him down way faster. He's basically already dead. Night, night. We just need to do like one or two more of those. Maybe a mimic this time? Oh, it's a mangler. Close enough. Just want to try it against a different elite, but I guess not. What's up, buddy? Shoot your gun. Go ahead. Try me. Or don't. Okay, we do have enough for pack three, but I think I'm going to do one more because we're missing a few perks here. I don't know what, but I'm still going to grab it. Actually, are we missing perks? I feel like it's very obvious. And I'm just not seeing it. Oh, and it just died. I didn't have to do anything. That's how powerful these things are. Just the elite knowing we're showing up with them is enough to kill them. Bro died from fear. All right, I guess we can go fight a mega abomination now. Let's go try it out. Are we going to get a spawn over here by the bridge? We are. Sick. What's going on, buddy? Let me shoot you in that purple mouth. Don't you close it. Oh, here we go. Beautiful. Start lasering. Okay. All right. We tried to ego it and he, he he checked us. Still did a little bit of health though. That's a good portion of it. For only like what? Reloading once so far? I need these zombies to step off though. Oh, we never even grabbed pack three. I'm an idiot. No wonder. It was still doing good damage to him pack two though. 
Like, that's not bad. It's only gonna get better. Hold on. Spend all that time saving up money just to forget to go get it. What perk are we missing, though? Oh, elemental. That makes sense. I actually might have, like, gamer's dementia. At least there's mega abominations over here, though. Every other time I come to tier 3 looking for them, they're not here. But these Pack-A-Punch 2 were basically one-shotting tier 3 zombies. I mean, they still are. But now it's only gonna do more damage. And by one-shotting, I mean they one-shot with a headshot. I don't think body shots are doing it. Oh, maybe even headshots aren't. That zombie must have just been weak as fuck. And I'm getting down before I can take off. Do I have any self-revives left? This is stupid. No, I do not. Plus no armor. All right, hold on. I need to go get some more cash. We're gonna take a, a dumbass intermission. Please excuse my dumbassery. All right, I'm all done paying the idiot tax. I got two self-revives from the shop and I found an extra one. We should be fine. Really puts me at such a disadvantage having less brain cells. So at least the gun looks better if I can do something with it. Now we just need to find another mega abomination. We saw the one at the bridge earlier. Is it still here? Nope, of course not. It's like they just despawn. Is there one over here? Nope. What about the original one we saw? Of course not. We're just gonna have to do a bounty and hope it's a HVT a bomb. Oh, it is a mega bomb. Let's go. What's up, buddy? What's your name? Ig Igspok? Yeah. Nice one. I ain't pronouncing that. I ain't getting that right. There we go. Already blew up ahead immediately. Yeah, keep that glowing mouth open. Fuck. Not that kind of open. No biting motions. Stop biting and just sit there with your mouth open. Asshole. No charging either. Please shoot a laser. I'm actually begging you to. Stop trying to bite. We got him to like half health already though. And it feels like I've just kind of been training him around and poking him with it. Oh, of course you're yelling when I'm too far away. This guy's a dick. Oh, and he might kill me. Ooh, broke his other face from a distance too. You know what? All the other zombies on the cashmere. Stop trying to fucking bite me. Shoot a laser. He shot one laser, maybe. If that. Okay, all right. Damn. Oh no, I walked too far away and he healed. Damn it. I got out of range. You chased me this way, asshole. Look at that. He took all of his health back. You, you have one head and all that health? Fuck you. Oh, and now I'm out of ammo too. I might as well just walk away and go get ammo back. You stay right here, mister. That sucks though. We're not going to be able to get like that extra damage boost from blowing his head off because we already fucking did it. But guess who's back, you big bastard? Oh, he's full health now. Cool. That's fine. Just please shoot a fucking laser though. How hard is it? Do your move. It's almost like the game is just listening to my mic and listening to me say shoot your laser just so he can not do it we already got a quarter of his health down already we have to kill him twice basically got him back to half health i'm just gonna fucking backpedal and shoot you oh and he's dead what is it because i blew up the final head i'm so confused i'm just glad he's dead fuck him he can fuck himself but well, this can obviously do enough damage to kill him that was just a shit show let's go see if the storm caller is dead we only have seven minutes left in this game so i don't even know if we can get our camos here where are you storm caller i just want to talk there he is Oh, it doesn't do the crazy amount of damage to him. I'm not going to lie. Stormcaller's just got crazy health. Dude's a menace. Oh, he's starting to take a little bit of damage, but that actually might have just been the hellhound burning him. Because if he tries to hit me with that, that super slurpy, try to suck the Berkey out the dick, he might just get all this health back immediately. Oh, there's like 250 kills with the Basilisk. You know what? Fuck it. We can just grind camos right here next to him. Unless he starts fucking me up, then I'm leaving. No super slurpy. Stop it. Fuck. He actually might be way too strong to take down. Dude is way too bulky. He's kind of like a Chansey. All this special attack damage doing nothing. But if I were to hit him with a Tomfo, like a physical attack, he'd be dead immediately. Actually, we're starting to get there on health. We're chipping away. It helps that he's kind of stupid. This is the battle of dumb versus dumber. You guys pick who's who. Oh, it's close. We stopped him from healing. And he's dead right about here. Hopefully. Maybe. Yep, there we go. Little bitch. Fuck it, I'll take your skull with me. I don't need this blue aether wrench. And I'll throw brain rot on here. We got three minutes. Can we get a buzzer beater with these camos done? There is a spore control contract. Let's go do that. Oh my lanta, dude. There's no way I just went down to fall damage. Are you kidding me? I don't like how PhD has been reworked. I do like that it's flopper again, but I wish it was just PhD where you can both flop and slide. I don't like that they got rid of the whole like no fall damage thing. Like that used to be in stamina up for Cold War, but before that it was just PhD. I guess that's only when you're flopping, but still. Just let me get rid of fall damage entirely. And we have two minutes before the storm starts moving and we're right next to it. So we're playing a very risky game, but fuck it. 
I don't care. We just really need to focus on getting our kills after using our field upgrade. I feel like that's what's really gonna hold us back. That and the armored zombies, but I guess we get light armored zombies here in tier one. Actually, I think I might only grind camos until the storm starts moving, and then I'm gonna leave this area. We'll, we can grind camos all the way until final expo. We'll just have to do it in a different spot. All right, storm's moving. Let's get these spores out of here. Let's see what our reward is. Nothing good. Or huge. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Damn, the storm moves really fast when you're next to it. Holy shit. So I'm guessing that final axe is going to be over here. Let's go try to do this spore contract. Let's see if we can outrun the storm. Oh yeah, we're dust in the storm. Storm's slow as shit. Oh, and there's our 50 armored zombie kills. Let's go. So we just need our uh, kills after using our field upgrade. And we absolutely destroyed the storm. It's still all the way over here. Not even hitting tier two. Or just barely hitting tier two. We got plenty of time. Oh no, the final axe fell showing up. All right, zombies, come on. Help me out here. Onto the decoy. All get together. Come on. Pop the frenzy and start shooting. That's got to be it. Please. There's no way. Oh, and the storm's right here, I think. Fuck. We got to go. I guess we never really fully tested it on tier three zombies. Kind of just shot at them a little bit. But it's not bad against them. It's pretty good. Oh, but they're pretty good against me, too. Let's try to get ahead of them so we can still kill some weaker zombies that'll make this a bit easier. Oh, look at this mercenary over here. Trying to exfil. He's a sergeant, too. Shoot me. Oh, fuck. I didn't actually mean it. I didn't think he'd kill me in one shot, either. I just wanted him to start the fight. Come on. This has to be it. There we go. That's all of our, our camos, right? That's gonna have to be, because we only have a minute left in this game. We're just gonna have to defend the exfil helicopter. I'm almost positive this is enough, though. Us just exfilling here should be enough. These are still holding their own, though, against this the whole horde. They are all, like, tier one zombies, but fuck them. Oh, that just one-shot the mangler. These are nasty, dude. I think these definitely live up to the tier. They might just do, like, slightly less damage, but even then... I don't know if it's that noticeable. Let's cancel our contract before we get out of here. Fuck him. And we made it out. Oh... We got 922 zombie kills there, but it barely even let me see it. They immediately just took that page away from me. Now we just got to... You're stuck looking at the storm. No after action report? Come on, game. Oh, and we did get golden ivory. Let's go. Oof. Got it last second. Well, this is what our basilisks is. Basculi look like with golden ivory on it, and they look very nice. Honestly, these weapons way overperform from what I was thinking. I was like, you know what? These are going to be like the diet, the off-brand version, the great value tiers. But they honestly surprised me. They do a lot of damage, and they're, they can keep it right up with the tiers. Pairing these with them? That's a really good combo of weapons. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.